Good morning, good morning. How is everyone this morning? Hallelujah. We just thank God, amen, for another day. Glory to God. We are thankful to be in the greatest place on the earth, and that's in the house of God, in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ready to lift up our hands. Glory to God. Ready to clap our hands. Hallelujah. We just thank God that you are here. Thank God for our New Direction family. Thank God for those of you that are viewing us this morning by way of YouTube, Facebook, or however you are viewing us. Please like and share, amen, the broadcast on today. Help us spread the word of God, amen. Help us to get the gospel out to the nations, amen. We know that there are people watching us this morning from all over the world, and we just thank God for allotting us this opportunity, amen, to come before you once again, amen. And we also want to give God praise for our bishop, none other than Dr. Lamonte Calvin, amen. A man whom God is using in this hour, and we just thank God so much for what he is doing. And we are so grateful that you are tuned in this morning to New Direction Outreach Ministries. And Psalms uh, 47 and 1 simply says, Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. And tru truly, that's what we are here to do today is to lift up our voice like a trumpet in Zion. Hallelujah. And clap our hands no matter what we're going through this morning. Hallelujah. We're going to confuse the enemy. Glory to God. We clap our hands in his face and say we have a and the victory. And so, God, Father, we just look to you this morning. God, we just thank you for everything that you have done, God. Lord God, we just thank you for bringing us here once again, oh God. Thank you for waking us this morning, clothed in our right mind, oh God. Lord, a mind, amen, stayed on you, a mind to come into your house and to serve you this morning. Father, we just ask you to remove anything that's not like you, Lord. And God, we just ask you to have your way today. God, we move ourselves out of the way and say, you have your way, oh God. God, do in us what you want to do, oh God. And and Father, we thank you for it right now. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, we thank you for those that are viewing this morning. God, someone didn't know what they were going to do, oh, God. God, they tuned in today. And, God, we pray today that you will bless them, oh, God. Hallelujah, because they are right here, oh, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, oh, God. Hallelujah, just for being, God. Thank you for being the I am that I am. Thank you for being the great and mighty God. Hallelujah, we thank you, oh, God. And we praise you and we bless you today. In in the name of Jesus, we do pray. Thank God. Amen and amen. And right now, you are now in the hands of New Direction Outreach Ministries Praise Team. Come on and clap your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Because truly, we come to give him praise today. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on and bless God this morning. Hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We want to give God the glory for the blessing. Mm -hmm.
everything else is going wrong, may he be. He's the God of peace. 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 He is the God of peace. Tell me, say, He is the God of peace. 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 He is the God of peace.
If you got victory in this place. 
Good morning and welcome to New Direction Outreach Ministries. We're so glad that you chose to come and worship with us on today and we pray that you're blessed by today's service. Get your PJs ready. We'll be having our Christmas movie night on December 18th. Doors will open at 4 p.m. and the movie will start at 5 p.m. Don't forget to purchase a VIP ticket for $6 which includes popcorn, hot dog, candy, and drink. We will be watching the movie Jingle Jangle. We look forward to seeing everyone there. For those who have received the treat bag, don't forget to enjoy the bag, refill it, and gift it to another member in the congregation. We have four electronic ways of giving on today. You can give via Cash App, PayPal, Givelify, or Venmo. If you would like to give using your debit card or credit card, please see our financial staff for more assistance. If you would like to mail in your giving, details for our PO box will be posted up on the screen. And don't forget, so too, where you wanna grow to. On Monday morning at 10 a.m., our very own Bishop Lamonte Calvin will be on Facebook Live for Motivational Monday. So tune in to get a word to kickstart your week. On Monday evening at 7 p.m., we'll be gathering together on the prayer line. Details for the prayer line will be posted up on the screen. And that is at 7 p.m. On Wednesday evening at 7 p.m., we'll be back in the building for Wednesday night Bible study. So come and join us for a midweek recharge. And of course, we'd love to see you again on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. for morning manna and 11 a.m. to start praise and worship. We hope that you have a great week. Be blessed. Oh, come on, clap your hands all over the house. Come on, clap your hands. How many of you thank God for peace in your house? How many of you think, oh, y'all ain't shouting with me. How many of you thank God for peace in your house? You don't have to fight. You got to, amen, you got to peace. When you have peace in your house, I, I just want to hear everybody that thank God for peace right there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on. And look at your neighbor and say, you don't know what it's like to have peace in my house. My God, I don't have to fight the wall. I don't have to fight in the kitchen. I don't have to fight in the bedroom. I don't have to fight about the finances. I don't have to fight about where we're going. I don't have to fight what we're going to eat. My God, somebody shout peace when there's peace in your house. Come on, somebody. Now give God a shout for peace right there. Hallelujah. When you got peace in your house, when there's no peace in your house, you fight about the potato chips on the counter. Hello, somebody. When there's no peace in your house, you fight about the stove looking like looking dirty, whatever. Amen. Hey, God Almighty, the car passed by your house the wrong way. You said, y'all be looking at each other. All my life, I had to fight. <laughs> my God, but when you got peace, come on, somebody. I said, when you got peace in your house, my God, when there's peace in your house, you don't have to worry about all those things. Hallelujah. You can go to the store and come back home and don't have to fight because you went to buy groceries. Y'all are helping me when you got peace, when you have peace in your house. Clap your hands for the peace of God, the peace of God. 
Hallelujah. We're so excited to be in the house of the Lord. We thank God for all of you that are here. Thank God for you that are gathering in the place of the Lord. Thank you for all of you that have been praying. How many of you are glad to be in the house of the Lord? Come on. <laughs> I mean, you're glad to be in the house of the Lord. Those of you viewing us, we want to thank God for you tuning in. Go ahead and share it. You, Amen. You're on there now, so you might as well share it with the rest of the people that you're connected to and, and what God is going to do and what God has already done for the grace of God. My God, I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord. I say I'm glad to be in the house. Somebody made it to church last week, couldn't be here today. Come on. Somebody woke up last week, couldn't wake up this morning. But if you're glad that God saw, let you see fit to be in the house of the Lord, you ought to make some kind of crazy noise, some kind of loud noise, some kind of rejoicing noise. Amen. And we're glad to be in the house of the Lord and thank God for who he is. Can, while we're clapping our hands, let's celebrate the most beautiful woman in the world. Our first lady, we thank God for you, Lady C. Thank God for what God is doing and what he's going to do in her and through her. Glory to God. I heard y'all went out and did some things yesterday with the other women. Amen. But anyway, hallelujah. We're just glad. What are doves that are y'all in the house? Y'all flying to... The <laughs> Amen. I, I feel a doves conference getting ready to take some like a women conference. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all better. <laughs> Hallelujah. And sometimes God just speak to me right on the spot. I hear a women conference gonna hit this house in 2022. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All the women and as a father, I'm gonna speak to the daughters of, of doves. Amen. D O D. Amen. I'm going to speak to the daughters of Dove and come in and see what God has to say and what he's going. What are Dove's at? One more time. Come. <laughs> Amen. I'm a, I would say something to the brothers, but we still practicing. <laughs> we still in rehearsal. <laughs> but when we come out, my God, y'all better look out. Amen. Ain't that right, brothers? Amen. Yeah, we here. Glory to God. Amen. I probably should have let us win first. Amen. But we're glad to be in the house of the Lord. Thank God for all of you here. I don't want to go any further without thanking God for you. Um, um, now, uh, Unique Jackson is in the house. Or is that you, a Unique Jackson? Amen. Come on, raise your hand. I want to see who you are. Unique Jackson. Unique. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Come on, Purple Church. Thank God for Amen. Did I pronounce that right? Unique. Amen. Unique. God mighty. What a unique name to have. Amen. We thank God for Katrin Corner, uh, Cornell. Amen. Katrin is in the house. Glory to God. Amen. She left. Glory to God. Well, look, Katrin was, Katrin came and dropped off a seed and said she got to go. Y'all ain't helping me. Y'all. That's a shout right there. Come on. She dropped off a seed. Listen. God Almighty, as amen, she dropped off a seed and took off. Amen. See, God is going to do just like he's going to do it. I, Lord, I thank you for that multi-millionaire that's going to pass by this church and pull up in this driveway and going to drop a seed. Come on, somebody. And going to leave with a seed. Oh, my God. Somebody ought to praise God for it right there. Amen. I don't even know what's in the envelope, but glory to be to God. Amen. But I'm decreeing that God is going to, somebody going to pass by the purple church and going to leave a purpose uh, seed. Amen. And we just grateful for what God is going to do in that hour, in that moment. Uh, hallelujah. Um, for our team, I want to say, I want to say this. I want to say this, y'all. We getting ready to go to the movies. <laughs> We getting ready to have a movie right here in the building. We want to get ready. We getting ready to have a movie night, amen, on next week. I, I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to come back to that. But I have another announcement. I have another announcement. Amen. Y'all know education is good. Amen. Education is something I push. Education is something I I really drill. Amen. When you matriculate into college and you graduate, amen, I congratulate. We want to thank God. Can y'all stand and help me congratulate and thank God for one of our own brother Von Shepherd, amen, who graduated with education. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We want to thank God for brother Von. Works on our security department. Come on. Amen. We salute you, sir. We salute you 
for your education and uh, amen for your effort and doing what you do glory to God there amen I promise you hallelujah we thank God for you watch that young lady she's she got her eyes on you amen I know she close to you there glory to God she might want your phone number for graduating Amen. He said she can have it. Glory to God. But come on, let's celebrate education, y'all. Come on. Let's celebrate education. I didn't get all the information. I remember it was something about um, uh, childhood care. Um, what is it? Elementary. Amen. And we listen, we need to send our children to teachers that is, is not just getting a check. I'm talking to somebody. I mean, children that, I mean, teachers that's not getting a, just getting a check. Hallelujah. Teachers that want to teach your children how uh, to, uh, amen, to, to, edu to know how to add and subtract and say proper language. Amen, somebody. Amen. So we thank God. But, amen. So we congratulate you, sir, once again. We thank God for your, your effort and what you're doing. Um, what I was saying earlier is that we're getting ready to go to the movies. Amen. We're getting ready to transform next week. Our, 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 uh, on our, our activity team. Thank you. Our activity team is uh, sponsoring the movie. Listen, I, I'm a, we're going to play this video and then I'm going to get out the way because if I try to explain, I'm going to stumble and I don't want to fall. So let's pay attention. Our media team helped me out at this moment. Pay attention to the, amen, to the screen and they're going to explain to you. Hi everybody. You I'm Bracole Mills. And I'm Tazika Hill. And we're inviting you to the New Direction Family Christmas Movie Night, December 18th. Doors open at 4 o'clock p.m. The movie begins at 5 o'clock p.m. Please wear your pajamas. There's free admission to the movies, but please purchase your VIP tickets for only $6. The address is 123 North Ingram Road here in Sykeston, Missouri. Our VIP tickets include hot dog, a candy bar, a drink, and popcorn. And if you purchase a VIP ticket, you are entered into a drawing for a special prize. And if you would like to purchase a ticket, you can call 573-931-1889. We look, we look forward, forward to, to seeing, seeing you. you. Purple Church. Amen. We're going to be gathering here um, to, tomorrow night. Uh, do you have the ticket? Amen. We want to make sure, listen, you don't have to call in. You can purchase a ticket right after service or even doing service. You can purchase a ticket. Moving night, you'll be able to eat popcorn. Listen, for $6, y'all can't. Look, for $6, I went to a game the other day. My drink costs $8. Come on. And so for $6, you get popcorn, you get hot dog, you get drink, and a candy bar. And then you get to see me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. For $6. Amen. So let's, so let's help our activity team. They are doing a wonderful job. Let's thank God for them and all the work they are doing behind the scene. We thank God they are doing a wonderful job and we want to definitely support them and uh, support the ministry and what they are doing and all the things that they're going to do. My heart, my heart hurts. Amen. My heart is, uh, goes out to the families in Kentucky and surrounding areas uh, that we have found to, amen, found themselves in tragic and we, we, are, we are favored by God that the storm went around us. Amen. Come on, somebody. Not saying that those people are cursed or anything, but we're favored by God. The alarms went off. The sirens went off. But by the grace of God, he allowed it to go around us, and we're grateful for it. But our heart is crying and hurting for those families that lost family members. And uh, here locally, some uh, young lady lost her child, So, and we're praying for them. And listen, y'all, when these storms come, hallelujah, don't take it for granted, because that storm, it, uh, you, can't, <laughs> you can't fight the tornado. Amen. So, uh, But our heart goes out to them, and, and I pray that we're going to be able to do something. We're going to... Uh, our church is going to be able to sponsor something to do because y'all know once my heart is a man triggered I want to sow towards people and help people build because I don't know I pray that it never happens to me I'd rather give it than need it 
Amen. I'd rather give it. I would rather give it than need it because when you need it, amen, it is a definitely, it is definitely because you, you lost some things. You can't replace those memories. You can't replace that one spot your child grew up in. Come on, somebody. Holly, you can build a new home, but you cannot build that new memory like that. So our heart goes out to them, and we truly thank God for them. Amen. That we're going to be praying for them in Jesus' name. Come on, it's offering time in the temple. Come on, it's offering time in the temple. Amen. Because God loves the cheerful giver. We're, we're praying now. We're believing God for cheerful giver. Listen, this is what I do. It don't even take y'all long. We're going to get our seed in our hand. Amen. We're going to get our seed in the hand. I went back and viewed a few weeks ago. Y'all were praising God doing offering. Amen. That means that's a growing church. Amen. A, mature, a church that mature and knowing that when we sow seed, we sow it towards, amen, the purpose of God. And y'all, I know y'all have been around. I won't call all you nosy, but y'all is y'all have seen some things going on, some construction going on, <laughs> amen. And 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 we are uh, as you go outside and you see the construction, uh, we ask you to excuse our mess, but we being we're in the midst of progress, amen. We're in the midst of progress, and we're believing God for it. So, uh, but we're sowing. I'm believing this hour that God is going to release finances like never before. Let me say that again because somebody missed it on the left side. I said, believe, I believe that God is going to release finances like never before. Hallelujah. I believe that. I receive that. Why you say that, Dr. Calvin? Because I've been talking to, amen, I've been addressing different people, and I believe that, uh, that God is getting ready to release funds like never before, that people are going to forgive debt. You won't even have to worry about certain things. Because of the things that God is getting ready to release. Amen. I've had numerous conversations about financial breakthrough. And I believe that even before this year is out. I told y'all this is the year of manifestation. And before this year is out, somebody going to get a breakthrough in their finances. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Ladies, see, you ought to shout right there. Because I, I thank God for the blessings that's going to hit the Calvin's house. Amen. Call your last name. Come on. Hey, praise God for the blessing that's going to hit your house. Hallelujah. Amen. We're sowing, as you see on the screen, you will see different ways we can sow to this ministry. Hallelujah. I'm going to hurry up and get out of the way so we can hear a word from the Lord. Amen. But we're going to uh, sow into this house, and there's ways you can give. Give the fire. You can be like Catherine, and she just dropped her seed off and went on by her business. Amen. And so we're sowing seed. Those of you, if you belong to this house, amen, you need to sow into this house. I say, if you belong to that house, you need to be a, a, a firm sower in this house. Nobody should take care of your house more than you do. Hey Amen. No one should take care of your house more than you. So we're sowing into the house of the Lord. And thank God for those of you that, have, that are watching. You've been sowing into the house, sowing, and you've been sending seed to this ministry. Thank you all so much. And if you would like to, P.O. Box. 417 uh, Sykes, Missouri, P.O. Box 417 Sykes, Missouri, 6381, if you would like to mail it in. We're going to do our proclamation of favor led by our own first lady. Amen. At this time, we're going to stand and do our proclamation of favor. And after that, we're going to go into, amen, our offering, and we're going to go into the word of the Lord. Amen. You're Heavenly Father, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I come before you today as your child seeking your divine favor. Lord God, your favor surrounds the righteous. In faith believing, I receive the favor of God now in every dimension of my life. Let the favor of God rest upon every member of my family. Let your favor rest upon our health, our finances, and our relationships. Lord God, from this day forward, I am going to receive the limitless favor of God. Supernatural increase, policies and rules changed on my behalf, promotion, preferential treatment, restoration, honor, spiritual victories, petitions granted. And battles won that I don't have to fight. The favor of God is upon me. It goes before, before me. me. And Am therefore, I. my life would never be the same. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the favor that is being released over our life. We thank you for the favor that is on this ministry, the favor that is on those that are sowing right now. As they sow their seed, we're believing you to grow their seed. Lord, let none lack concerning their giving, but by reason of giving, you will, they will sow a 100 
fold seed and God by reason of giving Lord we thank you for the increase rebuke the vows rebuke debt right now in the name of Jesus rebuke oh God unpaid bills the bills oh God that never been seen God Lord we pray now that you will release it even the house even in their house in the name of Jesus and God rebuke right now the fear of sowing the fear of giving the fear of tithing the fear of releasing their seed and we'll forever be grateful for all the things you're going to do in Jesus name we pray thank God amen amen we, we are now in the hands of our usher and our praise team as they come and surrender us a song on this morning
many of you gonna take it to the Lord in prayer? How many of you gonna take it to the Lord in prayer? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout this word time. Amen. Time for the Lord. Clap your hands in this house. Amen. If you're gonna take it to the Lord in prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to thank God. And we're gonna go right into the word of the Lord. We're going to go right into the word of the Lord. Let's go to the book of Revelation, the third chapter. Amen. We're going to, somebody shout, it's word time. Y'all didn't say it like you mean it, like y'all afraid. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Come on, everybody shout it. It's word time. Amen. It's time for the word of the Lord. In the book of Revelation, the third chapter. Amen. In Revelation, the third time chapter, we want to thank God for all of our guests. God, Solomon, God bless you, sir. Good to have you with us. Clap your hands. We have another visitor, a few more visitors that walked in, amen, to be with us. We want to thank God for you all coming in. And I pray that something is said and done today that would empower you and strengthen your life. Revelation, the third chapter. Amen. Around about the first verse, we're going to start there. If you don't have your Bible, we, we are here to help you. And unto the angels of the church of Sardis write these things, said he that had seven spirit of God. And the seven stars, I know thy works, that thou hast a name that thou livest and art dead. Be watchful. Somebody said be watchful. And strengthen the things which remain, that they are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief. And thou shalt not know that the hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names even in Sardis which have not defiled their garments. And they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy, my God. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name of, out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angel. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches." Let's go back to verse 5. Let's go back to verse 5. I want to read that. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He that overcome it, I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name. In other words, the Lord is saying, I'm going to talk about you before my father and before his angels. I will not blot out his name out of the book of the life of life, but I will confess his name before my father. I, I want to use for a topic this morning, protect your name. Protect your name. Look at somebody said, whatever you do, protect your name. You may be seated in the presence of the king. Protect your name. Now, we will have to ruminate on the fact that a name is very significant. It is, a, it is so significant that when you were born, your mother or your father or your family had already picked out a name for you. It was very significant because on your birth certificate, they needed a name. Not only did they need your name, but they needed either your father or your mother's name or both names because a name is identity. Yeah, your name is identity. Your, not only is your name identity, your name, if you will, my brothers and sisters, your name lets me know or lets us know who you are. And, and if I would begin to call somebody else by, some, by someone else's name, they would say, that's not me. Because they have been identified by a name. 
We have to go back into the original origin of a name and knowing that when God created Adam, God, the Bible said he breathed into his nostrils and he became a living soul. And Adam became a living soul. It is not biblical or even written in the Bible that God named Adam, which Adam in Hebrew means man. But God said, let us make man. In other words, let us make Adam in our own image. So when God said, let us make, he was already given Adam a name. And I come to tell somebody that when God breathed into your mother, or when God breathed into your father to bring forth you or to make you, God was saying, I have to give them a name. From the date that you were born to the date that you died, there is a uh, there is a punctuation in between the date that you were born and the date you died. But in between those times is what you do with it. It is in those times is what you do with the name that God has given you. What you do with the name that God has placed in you. Now, if I want, if in order for me to really dissect this text, and I, this will have to be a series, but I'm going to do as much as I can today. I will have to matriculate into eschatology. Eschatology is a study of knowing that we are in the end times. We are in the end times and knowing that in end time, I know y'all hear somebody praising God. That's the direct word biblical university students. Uh, and we have to understand, we have to understand eschatology is something that we deal with in a man, the end time of our of life. In the end time, we understand some strange things will happen. Things will happen that we never thought would happen. Uh, father and mother, uh, mother against daughter, sons against father. Amen. Strange weather. Who would have ever thought uh, whether a tornado would hit in December? Who would ever? We more can focus on it snowing. Come on, somebody. Than a tornado hit. Who would have ever thought that in December, one day we wear a uh, jacket, the next day we're able to wear a short sleeve. We are in the end time. We are in the time where we have to be aware that God is not playing. God is not playing. God is not playing with us. And that's why I turn to his word in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. He said, if my people which I call by my name will humble themselves. That's the problem right now. We want more title then we want relationship oh my god we want we're searching more title than he didn't say he said if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves too many people want to be up there's too many chiefs and no indians my God, it's too many cheese and, uh, and that's why in this ministry I'm setting people in place so others won't think they run the show. Amen. When you are no show. And so God said, if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. The Bible said in 1 Peter 5 and 7, he said, 6, he said, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Amen. Sometimes we want a blessing. We want an increase before we decrease. This is the season, my brothers and sisters, that we got to decrease. What are you saying, men of God? We got to humble ourselves. We got to be submissive to order. We got to submissive to authority. We got to be submissive to the things that God is placing in our lives today. And he's putting in place today. He said, if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my faith. Too many of you seeking God's blessing but not seeking his faith. Uh, yeah, I'm coming down your row. I'm going to hit your mailbox in a few minutes. Yeah, we're seeking the blessings of God, but we're not seeking the ordinance of God. When God said, in order for you to bless, you got to drop that stuff. Drop that zero and get with a hero. God said, drop that anger. Drop that grudge. Uh, drop that issue. Drop your, that stuff that you're dealing with. Drop that stuff. Drop that name and unforgiveness. Repent and get it right before I come back as a thief in the night. My God. And so God is saying, there's some things you got to get in order before I bless your house. 
Yeah, God said there's some things you got to get in order. I know this is the word of the Lord because I was planning on preaching something. And God said, but I got you. To, I want you to preach this, son. And God said, if my people which I call by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways. So many of y'all point at other folk when you got some wicked stuff in you. Y'all ain't gonna help me in here. My God, y'all got y'all pointing finger, but let me inform you when you point one finger, you got three of them pointing right back at you. And let me help you out for these perfect folk in the church. You got some dirt too, God Almighty. If I put all your dirt on the projection screen, uh, you'll walk up out of here. Y'all ain't gonna, you look down on the young lady that came with a mini skirt. You look down on the young man that got a tattoo. You look down on folk that went through drugs. Uh, but if we visit your closet, y'all ain't gonna, we'll see some stuff uh, that you wouldn't be pleased with and God wouldn't be pleased with. But I thank God for his it's great and it's mercy that even all of us come short of the glory of God. All of us have fallen short of the glory of God. And that's why I can't look my nose down at you. I, I've made up in my mind as a bishop, I never get too high that I look down on folk. Because guess what? In the same God that picked me up is the same God can pick them up. Y'all, where my church at? Where the saints of God at? He said, if you will humble yourself and pray, seek my faith and turn from this your wicked way. He said, then, watch this. He said, wait, well, you got some steps to make. And he said, then will I hear from heaven. Forgive your sin and I heal the land. Y'all tell my God heal the land. God said I'm trying to heal you first. I'm trying to point at you. Ain't no need of you going to the hospital when you need help yourself. Oh, God Almighty. So somebody shall protect your name. So we're dealing with eschatology. We're dealing with the end time. Y'all cannot tell me that we are in the end of, and we're not in the end time. Where they, man, where people would rather text you than to call you. Uh, when people would rather, y'all ain't helping me. Y'all apologize with when. Uh, y'all y'all sending y'all apologies and by a letter or an email or something. Baby, if you did it public, you ought to repent public. Uh, if you did it in person, you ought to repent in person. Y'all, hey amen. If you did it, if you hurt somebody, go back and get it right. I'm talking to the church today. Go back and get this stuff right. Because God coming for a church without spot or wrinkle. And so he said unto the church of Israel, he said unto the church of Sodom. God began to talk to seven different churches. And he said that as the church of Sodom, he said, let me tell you something. Y'all remember I talked about the seven churches. I, I preached a message. What's the name of your church? I'm preaching so you have to find that message on YouTube you can find it what's the name of your church but God said I'm preaching to the seven churches of uh, amen he said uh, John I want to go to take you to the island of Patmos and I'm going to cause you to look at Patmos and uh, I want to talk to you by seven different churches I don't have the time my brothers and sisters to deal with all seven churches today but I want to talk about the church of Sardis uh, yes yeah, Sardis was a church that God specifically dealt with in Revelation in the third chapter he's dealing with Solomon he said because I need you to know Solomon that I have my eye on you he said, I have my eye on you. Why? He said, first of all, he said, Sardis, he said, uh, there are these things said I he until the, uh, uh, to Sardis. He said, I know thy works. Yeah, I know you've been feeding people. I know you've been clothing people. You've been helping people. You've been taking your clothes to the goodwill and not doing good by my will. He said, I know you've been doing all this stuff. He said, I know you've been doing all of this stuff and it looks good. You've been pasting it on Facebook. You've been posting it on Instagram. You've been posting it on my chat or chat chat, whatever chat. Glory to God. Hey Amen. You've been doing all of this stuff and you've been promoting it and you look good. But in my eyes, you don't look good. He said that work, he said that name, in other words, he said you have a name that live it. You want people to say you're doing big things, but God said, and you are dead. 
You actually a dead church walking. God Almighty. You a dead man walking. And the last thing I, I want to happen right here at New Direction Ministry, Outreach Ministry, the purpose of the last thing I want to happen is we be a show and not show up for the glory of God. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I stop feeding folk. I stop visiting the prison. I stop going to the rehab. I stop doing whatever we're doing. I stop every church in Pakistan, in, in Zambia. I stop all those ministry just to get right with God uh, because I don't want to do all this work. Uh, and God said, You dead in my sight. Uh, you're dead in my sight yeah I know you go to church I know you go to church You, by the way you shout in church uh, you dress up for church you look churchy Uh, somebody asks you how you doing in the middle of the aisle of the grocery store you, I, I'm blessed how the faith speaking in tongues come on he coming on a Honda baby you ain't got your life right how can you speak in tongues and don't speak to me I can you speak it Yeah, I know. I know I'm not gonna get to high five today, but I'm 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 gonna do what God told me to do. He said, protect your name. He said, then he said, be watchful. And all the words be watchful. Why you want why you God you want us to be watchful? He said, because the reason you have to be watchful is because there are things coming to distract you from the assignment. There are things that are coming to distract you from the assignment. But he said you got to protect your name. Somebody shout it with me. Protect your name. Or see, you can't protect your name if you reject your name. You can't protect what you reject. Huh? It is so important. A name is so important that when a woman marries a man, she changes name on the authority. Yeah, yeah, she, cha she changes name on the, on the authority. Praise, pray for the saints. She changed her name. Lady C had to change her name from Jackson to Calvin because she fell under the authority of my name, the lineage of my name. Now it is important when something, if something happened to me, her name is very important to the point she has authority to tell them to unplug, to unplug the machine. She has the authority to tell them I want this and do that. She, don't you unplug, no. Y'all excuse me for a moment. Let me take a break. Don't you, you better pray. Y'all better come in there with some tambourines. Y'all better come shouting all down the aisle, all down the hallway. Don't y'all unplug no machine. But because of her name, she has authority to do it. She has authority to tell, she has the authority right now or tomorrow to go to the bank and tell the bank, I want certain money out of a bank account because I am carrying my husband's name. When you carry a name, it means that you have a level of identity. You have not only identity, my brothers and sisters, you have authority. You have authority. And God has said, you have authority in this season from the time you were born to the time you die. You have authority to live for me. You have authority to live for my word, to live for who? Here it is. He said, be watchful. He said, because you're, if you're not watchful, you will be then be distracted from the assignment that I have given you. The problem that we have is too many people are focusing on other people's assignments uh, instead of focusing on their assignment. Uh, I cannot be the pastor of Left Foot Baptist. Uh, I am the pastor of the Purple Church. Uh, I I am dealing with what God called me to do. Uh, and if you stick to your assignment, God said, do what I assigned you to do. What is your assignment? Uh, what God assigned you to do. Uh, uh, God didn't assign me to be the praise and worship leader. Uh, so what do I do? I submit to the praise and worship team uh, or the praise and worship. God didn't assign me uh, to do certain things around here. Uh, he assigned me to be the leader. Uh, he assigned me to be the man of God to lead the flock uh, and some of you uh, gotta understand that if you ain't not, if you haven't been assigned to do it uh, you might be out of your line your lane 
you're, you're out of your lane. Isn't it amazing that we are so busy worrying about the other person lane instead of our lane? Don't worry about my name. Protect your name. Your name. Protect your name. Watch this. Names are so important to the fact, my God, that uh, as, a, as a husband, as a father, as a father, as a, a husband, as a leader, I learned that a name is to be protected. Because if your name get out there the wrong way, God said a good name is more precious than pearls and gold. Silver and gold. Come on, somebody. A good name. It's, have y'all ever heard somebody say, my name is uh, Tuki, uh, and they said their last name? And when they said their last name, they, you want, are you related to them? Are you related to the other ones across town? The one that, amen, go to jail all the time? The one that fight all the time? The one that steal? Because a name is precious. Look at your neighbor, say amen, nicely and tell your name. Your name is precious. Your name is important. Your name is, uh, see, watch this. What I'm saying today, I'm not asking you to protect your trademark or your family name. I'm telling you today, protect the name that God has given you. Protect the name in the relationship, the walk that you have with God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all ain't gonna hear this on a man on the uh, uh, on the hot spot churches. You're gonna hear that. You're gonna you're not gonna hear about eschatology. You're not gonna hear if you don't repent. I don't care how much you shout, go over to God. If you don't get this thing right, my God, you're not gonna see Jesus. Well, you're gonna see him but you're not going to dwell with them. So he said, he said, be watchful. He said, because you're getting ready to see, in other words, that you have assignment. And whatever I assign you to do, he said, be watchful. In other words, stay alert. Stay alert, church. Stay, stay. Somebody say it with me, stay alert. The reason we got to say, the Bible said, be vigilant because the adversary, your devil, the devil is as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Don't you know it's the devil's job? He's going to do everything he can to separate me and you. He's going to do everything. Look at Bishop. You see how Bishop looked at me the other day? You see how, you didn't know something was in my eye. His job is to separate us. His job is to distract us. His job is to keep us from in fellowship. His job, husband and wife, it's not your husband. It's not your wife that's your enemy. It's the enemy himself. You got to look at the enemy as being the enemy. Stop talking about she the problem, he the problem. You got to start rebuking devils. You got to start rebuking demons and rebuking spirits and say, as as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will trust God. As for me and my house, we will protect our name. So he said, protect your name. He said, watch this. He said, strengthen. He said, be watchful. Somebody said, be watchful. He said, not only be watchful. He said, he said, here it is. He said, in verse 3, he said, therefore, be, mm -mm. In verse 2, he said, be watchful. He said, in strengthen the things which remain. Strengthen the things which remain. I said it on Wednesday night. Said it last night. So I'm going to say it today. I don't want to hear about your haters in this next year. Uh, uh, I'm tired of church folk talking about haters. Oh, my haters. My, I got haters over here. Haters over there. Haters on the right. Haters on the left. Haters in the back. Haters, haters in the front. Well, I don't want to know about your haters. Let me find out who your congratulators are. Let me find out, find out who your elevators are. I don't want to know who hating on you. I want to know who's celebrating you. Oh, 
Oh, I got all kind of hater. I thank God. Y'all hear me. Hear me well. Hear me. Hear me today. Hear me today. Can I just do a personal testimony right now? Hallelujah. Hear me today. So to tell, I thank God for every hater that God has allowed me to have. Line them up, God. Line them up. Line them up. I'm going to celebrate every hater of mine. Why? Because the haters remind me I'm on the right track. <laughs> yeah, the haters remind me I'm on it. That's all I'm going to say about the haters. Huh? But even when they see God blessing you, you can be able to say, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, huh? I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou rod and thou staff comfort me. But you got to protect your name. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Protect your name. Because God said, I'm not going to punish your haters for you doing what I didn't tell you to do. I'm not going to punish the system for you doing what you did. By the way, the Bible said when Jesus come back, if you've been lying, keep on lying. He said, if you've been cheating, keep on cheating. Ain't no need to try to pull them up now. If you get caught in the window, you might as well keep on going. <laughs> Go over to God. I feel it, Holy Ghost. Yes. Uh, yeah, I know I'm hitting that door right now. I'm knocking on somebody to know. He said, if you're doing it, when I come out, he said, keep on doing it. He said, but you got to stick to, you got to protect your name. You got to protect. It's not the Calvin name that I'm protecting. I'm protecting the name of Christ. Uh, the name that Jesus know me by. That good and faithful servant. Uh, that good and faithful servant. Uh, hey, my God for you have been faithful of a few things I will make you ruler over a minute he says strengthen in other words bring strength to that which remain that which remain uh, I'm going to say this uh, and one time I was saying God you God, you allow me to come from the basement and you allow me to get into this building and you feel the church. Y'all remember the church feel? I said, you did all of that just to show me you can snatch people out of my life. I said, but you told me that I had, we had too many people in the church. He said, because if you do it with these people, they're going to get the glory. God said, Those, therefore, I'm going to call some people to leave. And I was complaining by what God was, I did. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I was complaining. God, they left. God said, don't you focus on what left. Focus on what is left. <laughs> he said, strengthen those uh, that are left. Uh, he said, now you know uh, who can survive the coronavirus. Uh, now you know uh, who going to stick with you uh, throughout the storm. Uh, and let me celebrate everybody uh, that kept tithing through the storm. Uh, that kept praising God through the situation. Uh, that kept coming to church. Uh, that kept praising God uh, for your leadership. Uh, your reward is great. Uh, because God said, uh, if you can praise me, uh, and if you can be faithful of a few things, uh, I am God to make you ruler over many things. Uh, now help me celebrate you uh, for doing what God called you to do. Here it is. Here it is, my brothers and sisters. God says, strengthen all that remain. Uh, strengthen all that remain. In other words, if you only got three people left, uh, you tell them three people, ask for me in my house. Uh, one, you look at the first one. Uh, you say, in the name of the Father. Uh, you look at the second. Uh, you say, in the name of the Son. Uh, you look at the third. Uh, you say, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Uh, we gonna strengthen. Uh, the Bible said, uh, a threefold cord uh, is not not easily broken. Uh, therefore when you protect your name uh, you're protecting the force uh, that came with you. Uh, when somebody say aren't you the pastor of that church? Uh, I proudly lift my head, uh, stick out my chest uh, and say yes uh, I am uh, the pastor uh, of that church. Uh, they say is it a purple church or is it a perfect church? Uh, I said surely it's not perfect uh, but I thank God uh, for what he's doing in this season uh, for him strengthening 
in us. I just need everybody that's in this house to flex your muscles. That say, God, I thank you for the strength in this season to protect my name. Thank you for the strength to keep staying on the wall. Look at somebody, look at somebody on your row uh, and tell them stay strong. Uh, don't you give up. Uh, tell somebody behind you. Uh, tell somebody in front of you. Uh, don't you give up. Uh, you got to stay strong. Uh, I know it's getting tough. Uh, I know it's getting hard. Uh, but you hold on. Uh, help is on the way. Uh, you hold on uh, to the unchanging hand of God. Uh, you hold on. Uh, weep and may and do for a night. Uh, but joy comes in the morning. Huh? Tell them protect your name. Huh? Don't you give up in this hour. Huh? Don't you give up in this season. Huh? Your attack huh? is not nothing compared huh? to your comeback. Huh? When God bring you back up huh? he's going to bless your name. He said, he said to Anna he said to Abraham he said I will bless your name. I will make your name great. In other words, he said, I ain't making your title great. I find out people are okay until you give them a title. What's your name? Evangelistic prophet of the missionary, missionary. Protect your name. He said, he said, strengthen those that remain and let me help y'all out let me help y'all out because I, I want y'all to I believe and I know that I'm not the only one but I believe God said there's tradition and there's transition yeah. Yeah. there's tradition and there's transition and I believe Evangel Kim God has put me in place as one of them I'm not the only one there's many God is placing in this region in this area he said there has to be a gap from, from tradition to transition there has to be a bridge that said this is good but we're going over here this, y'all ain't gonna help me in here yeah 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 this was good huh? yeah I know you climbed on the rough side of the mountain but we got authority to speak to the mountain now huh? yeah I know I know you did this over here but glory to God, God is taking us to another place. I know you rung the bell to start service, but right now we're ringing, ringing the Holy Spirit. We don't wait for man to tell us when service starts. We come into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise, because we got to come from tradition to transition. Well, hey, hey, oh, oh, oh. But I heard so many people say, well, you know, uh-uh. Uh, we need to go back to the old time way. <sighs> Are y'all ready for this? They say, you need, you need to go back to the old time way. You will not take me to the old time way. Y'all ain't helping me. You will not take this church back to the old time way. Why? What are you saying, bitch? Because if we want to, if you want to go back to the old time way, y'all want to hear me? For all of you think that we need to go back to the old time way, I want all of you to give me your cell phone. Everybody that's going back to the old time way, I want you to give me that stove that you can just turn and it comes on. I want you to give me that, amen, that unit at your house called Central Air. I want you to give it to me. I want all of you that got heat that you can punch a button and you can have heat in your house. I want you to give it to me. And I want you to get a wooden stove. Put it in your house. Come on, y'all. And, and instead of y'all text messaging, I, in order for you to get your le- like mail, your uh, your message to somebody, you got to lick an envelope, write a letter. Y'all ain't going to help. Put a stamp on it. Wait for the old mail, mailman to come back. And that's the old time way. Because the old time way, they had old songs to represent in the moment they were in uh, but God has brought us uh, from that place now uh, he has brought us uh, to see his glory uh, we cannot go to the old time way uh, cause y'all got too many TVs uh, in your house now uh, you got cell phones uh, in your pocket now y'all ain't preaching with me uh, but I'm gonna preach to you today uh, you got too much stuff to go back to the old time way by the way, look at what you got on right now. (laughs) 
then none of y'all had to go and ask somebody, can you borrow some clothes to put on? I had one suit, one shirt. Y'all ain't helping me. No, one, sh one pair of pants and numerous kind of shirt type of shirts. I wore them black pants to church. Everything, that's when I learned black go with everything. I wore them black pants to church next week. This week I got on a white shirt. Next week I'm going to wear my same black pants. Next week I'm going to have on a blue shirt. The next week after that I'm going to have on a brown shirt. The week after that I'm going to have on a gray shirt. Still same black pants. Like a penny shoot. Y'all ain't going to have penny loafers. With that rusty penny in your shoe, y'all ain't gonna help me in here. And y'all might, and y'all talking about go back to the old time way. You're not gonna take me back to the old time way. But if you want to protect, somebody said protect your name. You gotta protect. Tell somebody protect your name. He said, watch this. He said, he said, I will return unto you for those that are ready. He said, I will return unto you. He said, I will come to you as a thief in the night. Every time I scare somebody, and some of y'all probably heard me say that. I said, that's how Jesus is going to come back. They said, oh, bitch, I ain't see you. I said, that's how Jesus is going to come back. Oh, Jesus, I ain't see you. Oh, Jesus, I didn't see you. Y'all ain't going to help me in here. You're going to be having conversation that you don't supposed to have. Oh, Jesus, I didn't see you. He said, I will be, a, oh my God, you're going to be having, you're going to be a part of, of a gossip conversation and God going to show up right in the midst of your conversation. Protect your name. Here it is. God said, I'm coming back for a church without a spot or wrinkle. I'm coming back for a church that doesn't, can't be blamed by the community to be a hip, hypocrite church. To be a church that talked about one thing but was doing another thing. He said, I'm going to come by and I'm going to come to you like a thief in the night. How many times have you heard somebody say, the thief told me he was going to wait till I leave home. Wait till I'm gone, good and gone. And he's going to come and get my TV. <laughs> How many times that person told you that was going to steal your money? Hey, if you leave your money on the counter, I'm going to steal it. A thief come when you don't even know they coming. A thief is slick, smooth, tricky. That's just like the devil. God said, but I'm going to come like a thief in the night. In the night, it's dark. In the night, you don't see it. In the night, you're not aware of it. But he said, I'm coming back as a thief of the night. I ain't going to tell you when I'm coming. I'm not going to tell you. Y'all ain't like me. When mama would say, we used to know, mama said, clean up that room, clean up the house. Before I get back home, my God, we knew at 3.30 my mama would get off work. We would tell all our friends, y'all got to go home. We say, because mama is on her way home. And boy, we wash dishes. We clean the house. We rake the yard. We mow the yard within 15, 20 minutes because we knew mama was on her way home. But can I inform you, my brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to know when he's coming back. He's going to come back as a thief in the night. So whatever you're doing, that is not right by God. I said, come on, my CK. Whatever you're doing that is not pleasing to God, you better stop it now. You better get your house in order. Huh? You better get it in order because he's coming back. He's not concerned about that person over there. He want to know what did you do? What did he tell you to do? What did he assign you to do? I know you may be sleeping right now. You may be doing it in the dark, but God can see a black ant on a black street at midnight. 
God said, you got to get your house in order. I bet say, hey man, somebody punch yourself and say, get it in order. He's not talking about your home address. He said, get this house in order. There's some stuff in you that you need to pull out of you. There's some grudges that you need to get out. There's some unforgiveness that you got to let go. There's some gossiping that you got to stop doing. There's some backbiting. You got to stop entertaining. Get it right. Protect your name. What do you mean protect your name? He said protect means, and I'm closing, I know, my God. He said to cover or to shield from exposure, injury, or damage, or destruction. That's it right there. Protect your name that it won't be destroyed. God Almighty, Proverbs 14 and 12 said, There is a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. See, I love, I love, I love church. I love that God, I love ministry. I love preaching. Why? Because I'm not a fire brimstone preacher every week. You know, if you if you if you put make on up on you going to hell. If you go bowling, you going to hell. A lot of us gonna go to hell. According to the old church, that's why I told y'all don't take me to the old time way. Yo, we don't go where sinners go. You go to work. We can go to the ball game. What? What? The, what, the, what the, what's up? It's a football game. You can't, you can't, you can't put makeup on. You Jezebel. Some of y'all ain't got makeup on in Jezebel. Yeah. Huh? Well, yeah. Know, if you wear pants, you going to hell. Some of y'all got skirts on. Why your wife, her daughter, why her children look like deacon over here? And they ain't married. Y'all ain't gonna help me at here. I know you got on a dress come on but your children look like somebody that go to the church and y'all ain't married Oh, you gotta wear a dress. You gotta wear a dress. You gotta wear a dress. And I know there's order, there's modesty, there is a structure, there's a way we dress, there's a way we carry ourselves. But don't condemn folk because they got a dress pants on. Don't condemn people because they don't dress like you. There's about to be a group of people that's gonna walk up in here. They're gonna look like last night. They're gonna smell like last night. They're gonna act like last night. But we gonna embrace them. We gonna love them them. We gonna care for them. We gonna be on them. We gonna shape them. And we gonna love on them. Yeah, I got some brothers. I got some brothers over there. SECC got tattoos all the way up here. But when I walk in there, I ain't looking at the tattoo. Because some of y'all ain't got no tattoo on your body, but you tattooed. So what are you saying? Y'all got to stop all this. Y'all got to stop all. Y'all got to stop all this legalism in the church. Now, I'm against, if y'all ain't, listen, if y'all ain't married, get it married. Don't do it. Put, he put a ring on it. Now, there's some things that we know that are structure. There's things are ordinance of God. But all this legalism, all this other stuff, in my office early in the morning, I got some young people that come in there, they, they, all, they dress all kinds, they got holes in their pants. <laughs> but young people keep me young. They got holes, they got, they, oh, they, they, they. They purposely have holes in their pants. You and I had holes in the pants because we didn't want them. <laughs> That's all we had. 
and your mama know how to sew or your auntie know how to sew and she would put that patch on your pants. Y'all ain't gonna help me. Y'all, y'all ain't got too deep. Now you walking around patchy. Y'all, y'all remember them patches on your knees? Y'all, Woo! my God, them patches on your elbow. But we got young people that come in now. They come in the office. My God, they got patches. They got they dress all kind of way. I'm high fiving them. I ain't concerned about what you got on. I want to know what you got in. I don't want to know what you got on. I want to know what you got in. Because some of y'all be dressed up but messed up. You got to protect your name. Somebody said protect your name. He said, watch it. And, and in his text, he's saying, he's saying, he said the name, he said, Saul is because y'all known for doing good works, but y'all dead. Y'all look good, but not doing good. He said, y'all, watch this. He said, therefore strengthen those that remain. I'm closing, I promise y'all. Amen. Because some of y'all looking at me like y'all, amen. You can roll your eyes, you can stomp your feet, but this, okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> y'all excuse me. <laughs> all right, don't you try, no, okay. <laughs> Help me, Jesus. Thou has a... <laughs> Thou has a few names. I got some folk in this church. They said, G- J- they said Bishop, we saved, but we, we don't mind. <laughs> we don't mind. Don't you cross us the wrong way. Don't you mess with my leader. <laughs> Man, that, that's why I stay prayed up, so I can pray for him. <laughs> you mess around here, you get another kind of awe. <laughs> Jesus where was I at <laughs> y'all done got me all off <laughs> I gotta calm some folk down come on Sister Cam, I might need you to sing a song that comes up. They read it right now. They read it. They on guard. But 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 watch this. I asked God. I asked God to real. I asked God. But to real, I, I asked God. God send me some Peters. Mother. <laughs> Y'all excuse me. When when the mother boy, when the mother boy said you got them. <laughs> you know, you know, you better not. <laughs> you know, we in. <laughs> Jesus. Lord, save all of them. <laughs> Help all of us. Bishop, I'm saved, but I ain't, I ain't crazy. But he said, he said, and some of y'all still come in. He said, you, he said, keep your covenant. He said, keep your covenant. This is what I'm going to say to y'all. I'm, 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 I don't have nothing else to preach. <laughs> he said, I'm going to come as a thief in the night. I'm coming as a thief in the night. And, and I don't want to preach about people who are not coming to church. Because everybody do what they want to do. Oh, but, but if other activities is getting your attention more than God, then my question is, do you really know him? Do you really love him? Do you really submit to him? Because you got it. He said, if you don't, if you don't get this right, I'm going to blot your name out of the Lamb Book of Life. See, I can, I can hollow this, I can shout this, but I want to say it to you. When I was in the sixth grade, never will forget it. I had a teacher by the name of Miss Brown. 
you don't mess with Miss Brown. Miss Brown was one of them teachers. When she said, do your homework, you better do your homework. She wasn't calling your mama and your daddy. They used to have straps back then. They would whoop you at school. Line you up and whoop you. And Miss Brown was one of those teachers. You can sense her coming down the hall. But Miss Brown would every now and then, Sister Zazika, Miss Brown would leave the class and she would tell this young lady, them, that's why I ain't like them smart people. But anyway, <laughs> she would tell one of the young ladies, I want you to keep names. And guess who name always ended up on the board? <laughs> she said, I want you to keep names. In other words, if your name was on the board, Miss Brown was coming for you because you did something she didn't tell you to do. She told you to do your work and stop talking, but you want to be a comedian. <laughs> you want to make the class laugh, and now your name is on the board. Here it is, though. Here it is. Watch this. And I used to beg the young lady, please take, come on, girl, please take my name. And if she didn't take my name, I said, I'm going I'm to doom you up. <laughs> I would threaten them to take my name off the board but let me tell you brothers and sisters this name when your name is on the Lamb book of life you don't want it taken off you don't want it taken off here it is God said make sure your name is in the book make sure your name Call your own name. To make sure your name. Lamonte. Make sure your name is in the book. Now, I ain't talking about on Facebook. I'm talking about on the Lamb Book of Life. Make sure your name is. I, I know this ain't no shout. Run around. Hey, man, we're going to jump over the chairs. Message. But make sure your name is in the book. Protect your name. Protect your name. He said, he said, if your name is there, he said, I, if you've been faithful, he said, I will not blot your name out of the lamb, out of the book of life. I come to tell somebody, God said, there's a book that calls you to live. There's a, there's a generation that God said, if you have overcome, he said, there's a generation that's going to have on white. In other words, you have been, you operated in the purity of God. You say, when God, I did wrong, I repented then. You you say, I'm going to protect my name. I just need a group of people that made up in your mind that today I made up in my mind I'm going to protect my name. The reason I don't smoke drugs is because I'm going to protect my name. The reason I don't have an affair because I'm protecting my name. The reason I don't have a hangout with that group is because I'm protecting my name. The reason I don't smoke drugs is because I'm protecting my name. The reason I don't sleep around uh, is because I'm protecting my name. Uh, the reason I don't drink uh, is because I'm protecting my name. Uh, the reason I don't hold mark uh, is because I'm protecting my name. Uh, the reason I don't fight, uh, fights I don't have to fight, uh, is because I'm protecting my name. If you're protecting your name, uh, give God a shout right here. I'm protected. Look at somebody say, I'm protecting my name. So don't you try to get me caught up with some unnecessary stuff. I'm protecting my name. Protect your name. Some of you want title, but you got to get your name right. You want position, but you got to get your name right. Come on, everybody standing. You got to get your name right. Today. Today, 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 today is the day. I said today is the day. Today, not tomorrow. Today, 
is the day. Uh, come on, pat yourself as to today. Uh, get my house in order. Uh, whatever is not like you, God, get it in order. Uh, whatever is not like you, God, take it out of me. Uh, get your life, get your name, in, get your house in order. Protect your name. Protect your name. Protect everything about your name. You watching live. Protect your name. Don't let God, don't live the life that you man, you're straddling the fence. He said, I wish you were hot or cold. But because you're lukewarm, whoo, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. Protect your name. Young people, young ladies, young uh, uh, general, what, what do you call them? Uh, millenniums. Let them talk about you. But protect your name. You say, I don't have to sleep with nobody to know who I am. I'm of the royal priesthood. I'm of the chosen generation. I'm of the holy nations. Come on, I need some help in here. I'm of the holy nation. I'm, I'm saved because I'm safe. I'm safe because I'm saved. I'm saved because I'm safe. I'm safe because I'm saved. You cannot tell me that I'm not nobody because I go to church. You can't tell me because I don't drink that I'm not important. You can't tell me because, hey amen, I don't sleep around with everybody. That I'm not uh, who God called. I am somebody. That's why I'm protecting my body. <laughs> I say I am somebody. Come on young people. You are somebody. So protect your body. <laughs> to all our young girls. To all our young girls. Young ladies. Whatever age you are. Keep your body. Hear it from a man. Hear it from a father. Keep your body. Some people target is to get what they want and after that, they have no desire for you. Keep your body. My daughter ain't gonna never have to fall for somebody telling her she cute. I tell her, I tell her she cute. I tell her she looks good. I tell her I like your hair. I tell her I like your shoes. I tell her because I'm protecting my name and her name. So she won't have to fall. My son won't have to fall for a young lady telling him he's handsome. I tell him. Bro, that ain't manly. Yes, it is. It's godly. I tell him he's handsome. I tell him he's smart. Even though he don't look, he look at me funny. So you look good, man. You fine. You handsome. And dad is, we need to do that more. That is, we need to do that more. Tell our children what they are to us before we lose them. Protect the name. So I'm not going to ask today who want to be saved. I want all of us to repent. I want all of us. If you want me to brag about 10 people got saved last night at the prison. Yeah. Five, five young men at the rehab center gave their life to the Lord this week. I'm not going to let nothing control this ministry. Y'all hear me? I'm not going to let nothing but the Holy Ghost control this ministry. Because I want to see people saved. They're not getting saved because we got pretty purple. They're not, getting, they're not getting saved. I thank God for our dance team, praise team, and all those teams, media team, security team, amen, all the teams, the prayer team. I thank God, but people want to get saved because there's a word. We're going to be a word church. Come on, somebody. We are a word church. A church that said we're going to stand on God's word. 
we gonna stand, Sister Am, we gonna stand on God's word. I know y'all doing this. That's the fun church. You got the fun church, the clown church, the other church, and all that don't know who they are, church. But we gonna be the word church. I don't want to go nowhere because it's fun to go to. I want to go somewhere I can get a word from heaven. I want a leader that's going to lead and led by the Holy Spirit. I was getting ready to preach something else and God said, I want you to go and preach this. Because somebody need to hear it today. I got to close. I got to close. All this shit. Come by my Protect your name. You won't lie. Protect your name. Everybody lift your hands right now. 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 I want you to think of all the things that you know. You know is not right. Those things you know in your heart that it's not right by God. You know them things in your heart. You know them things are troubling you. Those things that are right now that are troubling you. Those things that are keeping you from, amen, experiencing the greatness of God. Those things that are keeping you from going to the next level in God. I want you to let it go. Father, come on, everybody over the house. You on live. Come on. Father, I repent for everything that I have done that is not of you. I accept Jesus in my heart. Today, I protect my name so that it may be in the Lamb Book of Life. I love you, God. I need you, God. And by that reason, I am saved by grace through mercy. I receive Jesus as my Savior today. In Jesus' name, amen. All of you that believe that prayer, clap your hands all over this house. <laughs> Protect your name. Protect your name. Protect your name. Protect your name. Protect. And Father, right now, everything that comes to distract, everything that comes to mislead, we ask right now, come on, Jake, come on. We like now, God, that you would bless them right now. God, we ask right now that you would shield them in the name of Jesus. Let it go right now. Come on, let it go right now. We release it right now. We release it right now. Come on, whatever's been trying to hold you back, release it right now. Whatever you've been struggling with, release it right now. For your glory right now, God, we thank you for it. We thank you for releasing it. We thank you for letting us go. Letting it go, God, in the name of Jesus. And by his grace and by his mercy, we protect our name. That our name will be written in the Lamb Book of Life. In Jesus' name, amen. Clap your hands all over this house. Oh, God, oh, God. Somebody ought to celebrate for God sending a word right now that you protect your name, that you protect that. Somebody shout, I will protect my name. Come on, shout it. I will protect my name. If I had to go by myself, I'm going to protect my name. If I had to be looked that funny, I'm going to protect my name. If I have to hold on to the grace of God, I will protect my name. My name. I will protect my name. In the name of Jesus. How many of you received that word today? How many of you received? People want to people do the fashionable thing. That's okay. But I want to do the God thing. How many of you going to roll with me and say, we're going to do the God thing? I mean, before I leave, I'm going to turn this loose. You said, Bishop, I want to be a part of this ministry. I want to make this my church. I want to make this my place of worship. I want to make this my church. If that's you, you say, I want to join this ministry. We want 
called you to be a part of this church. If that's you, just lift your hands. I want to see you. If you want, if you want to make this church your church, if you want to make this your church, home, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. God is sending me. Come on, sir. I see you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to make this your church home? Man, when you, <laughs> it's amazing. He used to be a part of my drill team. You remember the drill team? <laughs> oh, y'all, y'all ain't ready. Uh, the scripture, what was it? Part of the church, he was a young man. But look at he a man now. This morning, join this ministry. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. As a, as a, as a, as a member of this church, bring me down a little bit. Bring me down. Amen. As a member of this church, as a member of this church, we promise to uh, follow God as we follow Christ. Amen. I mean, you promise to follow. As we follow Christ, we promise that we will uh, give in tithes and offering as the Lord gives it to you. We promise you will love these lovely folk. Amen. But by the power invested in me, you know who this is. You know that's my wife. Yes. Amen. My Chalupa, that man, you on board. Come on. By the power invested in me, my lovely wife, and this great host of church, these members, we accept you. Solomon, God bless you. Come on, y'all, celebrate this young man. Come on, love on him. Y'all celebrate him. Hallelujah. Man, we want you to be on the men team. We want you to get a part of it. And I know you work and you do things amen, in your personal life. What a brother said, Mason Dog. He needs to practice with a metronome. Yeah, yeah. Come on, brother. Brother, come on. He coming up to hug him? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Come here. Come here. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> What's going on? Good to see you, brother. Hallelujah. Y'all, Trevor, they release you. You was released this week. Okay, this, this week. Amen. I want to pray for Trevor. He's one of the young men I'm ministering to. Amen. I'm ministering. I'm part of. Keep playing it. Hallelujah. He's, he's one of the young men uh, that we ministering to. And uh, uh, he found and during the ministry of the time I was, I was ministering to him, he said, uh, Dr. Calvin, I live right down the street from your church. Amen. And you just got baptized today, right? Or did they, did they do it? They, they canceled it? Amen. But you know what? Uh, speaking of that, we're going to be doing a baptism here soon. Amen. I want all the candidates. Amen. I want y'all to get ready. We're going to be doing a baptism. So Trevor, if you if you want to, amen, you, you can go down three or four times if you need to. <laughs> but I, I want to pray with you. Come on, y'all stretch your hands right here. Father, we pray for Trevor right now. God, we ask even now that you would strengthen him. We bind the attack of the enemy on his mind, on his heart, God, on his life. And Lord, we thank you for the new souls that you're saving. Lord, the soul that you're strengthening. And God, we thank you right now for Trevor. Lord, you're going to strengthen him. Lord, you're going to minister to him. Lord, let him be in a church that we he will hear the truth, that we he will hear the word. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. By the way, y'all, Trevor gave his life to the Lord while I was there. Amen. Let's thank God for these young men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, Purple Church. Let's praise the God we serve. God is strengthening our church. Amen. To move forward. I love you all. We're standing all over.
me. I'm not let y'all go. Y'all sit back down. Amen. We want to thank God for all of you that viewed us live today. Amen. We love y'all. There's nothing you can do about it. Come on, Purple Church. Let's thank God for our family, our online family. We love you. And remember, your now is not your later. Amen. Be blessed. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad you came to the house of